To them birds flying free Fish in the sea Flowers and trees Every little bumblebee I wanna sing Long. <coughs> hey guys, good morning. Welcome to the vlog. It's 11:31, and we're getting um, Dunkin' Donuts. I need a receipt, please. Yeah. Journey, what is that? Oh, Mama needs to know how to drive. Oh. Hear that? <gasps> I just love how the day hugs. He's kind of scary. You got to Stay on your foot. Okay, no more. No more. <laughs> he's kind of creepy. No, he's cute. Oh, he's cute. What's he do? Where's your web Oh. I need a vacuum for downstairs. I don't need anything crazy expensive. I like that. I like those. What is that one right there? What's that purple one? Over here? Bissell. Why does it say 119? But down there it says 54. Answer me. Answer my question. Well, look, right there. Come here. Come here right now. You sexy beast. Right here, $54, right? That purple vessel right there, 54. Is that 54? Because over here it says 119. Is that the same vacuum or not? Well. Oh. I don't know. I can cross check it for you. Oh, that'd be a blessing. See, these are the, the small ones I was telling you about. They're really. Light, light, tiny vacuums. Yes. It's a turd. Such a turn. <laughs> what color do you want? Purple. <laughs> if I was going to get one, I would get purple. <laughs> Even though the blue is really pretty. Welcome to the vlog. I think Strong started it this morning. We went to Duncan and we went to the Walmart. And as you guys saw, I got a new vacuum. I need one for downstairs. That vacuum stopped. Um, this The roller stopped rolling. The plus, it's our old vacuum from up here. And so our um, the hose on it, something happened to the hose. So the hose was like taped up and... Okay, bless 
my heart. Okay, so um, I had to order from Glitterbug Fairy. Um, they don't. Um, Micro World is out of a lot of their glitter vinyl right now, and they're supposed to email me when they get more, which I haven't even checked to see if they emailed me. I might as well just check their website, but um, they are out of gold, and I really need gold. They're out of rainbow, and I really need rainbow. They've been out of rainbow for like a while now, though. Um, and there was another color they were out of, because I was like, well, I'll just get this color, and they didn't have it. Um, like, they didn't even have the sheets. So I ordered from Glitterbug Fairy, and on their website, they have um, a picture of their glitter, and they had this color, which they call beige. And then in the drop-down menu, you can also order gold. So I'm like, I have no idea. I know what color I need. Tarnished gold, still out of stock. Um, white, I need white. It's out of stock. Did they got a sheet? Out of stock. Everything just seems to be out of stock. So anyway, that's on Micro World. Um, so in the picture, tarnished gold kind of looked like what I wanted. Or tarnished gold. Beige kind of looked like what I wanted. It's like, it's almost, it is almost the right color. So. Um, which is, I'm glad I ordered both because I really wasn't sure because I thought well, if I order gold it might come out looking like this like the color that it is it's very yellowy it's very um, I might use this on something I might use this on maybe a Thanksgiving design I think that would look cute on Thanksgiving but anyway this is the color I need I mainly need it for Jojo Siwa's hair I do her hair in a gold even though her hair is not gold. But I think this will work out fine. Anyway, this will last me um, maybe a week. <laughs> so I'm still gonna need more. Um, like I said, I got these from glitterbugfairy.com and they are $8 a roll. So this is the color beige, and this is 10 inches by four feet. And then this is gold, same size. And I have, to get this. I have um, these little trays that I picked up at the Dollar Tree. I keep them on my desk. There's five of them. And so I keep invoices in one because you have to write things up at the end of the year on your taxes. So whenever I get invoices and stuff, I try to put them there. I keep um, shipping labels because I try to print out a ton of shipping labels at one time. And I keep them there. It just saves me from having to do it. And then I try to put them in order. So then when I package up my orders, I would usually just grab from the top because it's usually the next orders on my list. And if not, it's, you know, my next order is going to be somewhere down there. Um, anyway, and then I keep... Um, shipping labels which i ordered a case of them which i think was a thousand shipping labels and i get the question a lot about what printer i use and do i have an inkjet or a what's the other one called whatever <laughs> so this is i don't know if you guys can see my printer this is a hewitt packer it is Hewlett Packard HP NV7640. I bought it a couple years ago. I bought it during like Christmas time or something. Maybe it was before Christmas. I don't know. But so far it has been good. But yeah, I got um, there. I guess there's 500. No, there's probably 250. Because there's probably they're double sided, and I get, got these off Amazon. I'll leave a link if anybody wants to know. I'll leave a link somewhere. I'll, I'll have to add it into my favorites. It'll be in this description. Um, but yeah, this is just don't mind my boxes. Every single box you're going to see from now on will definitely have some kind of coloring on it. Let me just show you. Let me just show you. Let me show you what else we got going on here. 
So this right here, and don't mind my messy floor, because Journey's just been over here rummaging through stuff. And this is a glitter ribbon trim. I'm getting ready to hot glue my ends and package up. And this is the tissue paper I'm going to put in the box when I package it up, but she was over here. So this box right here um, has these cardboard pieces. Here it was. I don't know how many of them, 50 of them maybe. Um, but they just look like this. And they're the perfect size that fit inside of my envelopes. And I use that to ship my patches. Um, so my patches don't get messed up and ruined. And she's coming over here with her crayons. She wants the color. Here, let me fold this. There you go. Have Adam. But yeah, so I use those. Here's one over here too. Um, what I do is I put my patches. I have bags, little bags. I put my patch in the bag, and then I tape it so it don't slide around in the package. And then I put this inside of the package so my patch won't get bent or messed up or anything like that. And um, patches can ship um, flat. So, um, and they're cheaper. So it's basically kind of like buying a stamp. But with Etsy, if you ship flat on Etsy, you do get a tracking number. But the tracking number is not going to be, all right, the tracking number is not going to be trackable until the item is out for delivery and delivered, if that makes any sense. Um, so if you ship it, I think it might say it's accepted. I don't even know but it won't tell you where it's at. Um, it'll just tell you when it's out for delivery and delivered. At least it has been for me, so. Um, oh, and I got a package from Angela. Yeah, I ordered ribbon from her. If you don't know who Angela is, there's the link down below to her channel and also um, her website is Kids Custom Designs. She sells ribbon. Um, I think she said she's getting more in stock today, maybe. She said it might be on her, um, back in stock on her website today or tomorrow. I don't Let me. Oh, you, you packaged in bubble wrap, girl. You know what? Because I'm that cheap, I'm going to reuse your bubble wrap because the other day I needed bubble wrap for something. I don't remember what it was. Something I was shipping and I was like, I did not have any bubble wrap and normally, okay, I'm a cheater, guys. I'm a cheater. I'll buy. I won't buy. I'll get um, the bubble wrap packages from um Priority Mail, the USPS website, and the thing I was shipping was a headband, and I didn't want the headband to break, but anyway, so yeah, I'm probably going to reuse your bubble wrap. What is the journey? No, we're not going to nerf. She really hasn't been... Sucking on her pacifiers like hardly at all. Just random that she found one and has one. But that just tells me her is tired. Are you tired? Hmm? Are you sleepy? Mama has to hot glue her ribbon trim inches. And then we have to go downstairs. We have to do some school. We gotta make some ribbon trims today. We gotta embroider some shirts. Does that sound fun? Mm -hmm. It does. Mm -hmm. What should we have for dinner? Should we have Italian chicken? Or should we have, uh, I bought some boneless wings. I just bought some boneless wings in a bag because I figured they'd be quick and easy. But I am going to make some homemade ranch for them. 
and then I got some steak fries. Um, I'll have to show you guys later. We're building a deck. Well, we aren't. My husband and his dad and brother are building an add-on to the deck in the backyard, and they've actually got quite far in it, in my opinion, but I'll have to show you guys. And so they've been here um, past couple evenings, so I made chili, and then everybody ate dinner. We all had chili, and then yesterday I made that potato soup, and everybody ate potato soup. Huh? You know, this morning I said, oh, what should we feed everybody today? I just thought that was funny. Oh, she is going to nurse. She's still nursing. She's not two yet, but we got another month before we turn two. Then we'll start the weaning process. We actually techni technically kind of have, because um, there's times that she will ask for it, and I'll just say no. So when she does ask for it and I say yes, she gets excited like, oh, you finally said yes. But anyway, I've gotten a lot of subscribers lately. So thank you for subscribing. Um, what I guess basically my channel is kind of like life. I vlog like every day. I, or I try to vlog every day and just show you like what we're doing. I show you like, you know things I order for business um, I show you me working on stuff if I find anything find out anything new you know I try to share that with you guys um, new places to buy things and whatnot and yeah so <sighs> I need to eat lunch too so it is now 135 and she's probably gonna pass out don't pass out yet. Oh, I got an ARB blanks order too. I'll put that away here in a little bit. And yeah. Is that a good show? Okay. Hey guys, so I'm downstairs. I got an Airbnb blanks order. I'm going to put it away and get started working. Journey's watching her shows. So what I've been doing is, I used to order from Airby Blanks. It was getting two, three times a week, and it would be like, I don't know, 12, 14, 15 shirts at a time. So instead of doing that, um, I, every Wednesday, which is today, I'm gonna have to do it today. Usually I order on either Wednesday or Thursday. I try to order Wednesday or Thursday and I get it on Saturday or Monday. Well, this time I totally forgot to order and I actually filled up my cart and was supposed to order Thursday and um, it was my birthday last week so I didn't even remember to fill up, you know, to place the order. And then Friday on our way to Georgia, I was like, oh my gosh, I didn't even place my ARB blanks order. And it was like 10 a.m. and I was hoping that maybe they would still get it out in time and so that I would get it Monday, but they didn't. They shipped it out Monday. So that's my own fault. And then um, I actually ran out of size eight shirts, so I had do have an order on my list that I needed shirts for. So, and the funny thing is, is they actually just contacted me and said, did this ship out today? And I had to explain, no, I'm so sorry. I had to wait for my order, my shipment to come in and Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. So anyway, this is it. Um, I had to um, order a shirt. Now, if you 
do embroidery as a business or whatever just know that mistakes will be made and it's 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 not okay but it's okay um it's probably not okay from a customer standpoint of view but um from a person that does embroidery yeah mistakes will be made um i used to be really good and i didn't i mean i guess it's coming coming with old age that you know i'm making more mistakes um i probably made i don't know four or five name mistakes and this is one of them um, and I usually double check that stuff too. I, you know, I double check, but, um, I think it, it's when you're, Hey, I'm tr trying to hurry up and get all these orders out the door. I think it's when you have more orders, you know, it's more overwhelming and mistakes will be made. So anyway, um, this is for a shirt. The name was Aiden. I spelled it like Aiden and it's spelled differently so I have, to <laughs> I have to fix that um so and the shirt that they I sent them was a shirt from Hobby Lobby and it was the size 10 12 because at the time when they placed the order the listing itself is for a girl's shirt um it's like it says girl's shirt on it and not that I mean any of my shirts can be made for a boy you know what I mean or any of them you know what I'm vice versa my boy shirts can be made for a girl um they just need to tell me and so I thought maybe the little girl was named Aiden because I'm not a person to judge <laughs> you know Sterling's name after her dad so her name is Sterling it's after her dad so yeah so I have to remake this shirt I told them it was probably gonna go out Monday because I thought my shirt order if i would have ordered in time would have been here by monday but it didn't it came in today so <clears throat> that's that i got some ruffles why the heck do i have so many ruffle shirts i have no idea why i have so many ruffle shirts but i do <laughs> So I got three, two T, um, two, three T. That's a one order. I mean, one, um, one size I know I don't have a lot of orders for is three T and four T. So there's probably not very many of those shirts. Oh, maybe I lied. There's, okay. It's four fourteen. Okay, I got five size five T. Five size eight and a size ten. And this week I didn't need this week I didn't need a lot of size six. Normally a six is like the one I use a lot of. But last time I ordered, I ordered like three or four extra size six shirts. So this week on my inventory, I think I actually already had one shirt to begin with so I just ordered one more so I'd have two extra shirts if that makes any sense um, how I do things is I will make a list of all my orders on a sheet of paper and I'll just I'll go down and I'll list my sizes I'll make tally marks next to them so I know what sizes I need and then I'll come and count my shirts and write it in an actual number next to it and then I see how far off I am like if I had like five tally marks for size 2T and then I had like seven um, uh, shirts I would know I wouldn't have to order any if that makes sense that means I'd have two extra or let's say I had ten orders for size 6 I only have five shirts I know I have to order at least five shirts and I'll nor normally um, 
just kind of go over a little bit so either two or three um or if it's selling a lot of like size six shirts then i might order like four or five extra ones just to make sure um but this week another size eight <laughs> this week because i ordered a bunch last week of extras i didn't really technically need a lot so um I went ahead and ordered this is short sleeve two T. This is short sleeve three. Oh, these are my ruffle shirts. Never mind. I know what I did now. Oh, um, did I have an order for that? I don't even know. I ordered Journey. A I wanted to check them out, and I ordered this for Journey. It is. A brown ruffle shirt. I'm going to make her a um, Thanksgiving shirt. And I'm going to do it in a size 2T. Oh my gosh, it's going to swallow her up. <laughs> I'm hoping, you know, by... I'm hoping within a couple months, you know, she might be able to fit into a size 2T. Bless her little heart. She's so small, you guys. And... I don't know why jeans I guess I don't know why <laughs> I don't know why she's so small um, Sterling was a big baby so at two I think Sterling was wearing size 14 so journey can't even fit into a size 2t so 18 months is about where she's at right now um, some 18 months are still quite big on her she wore a shirt yesterday it's funny because um, the dinosaur leggings and the dinosaur shirt that Danny sent her is a size 12 months it fits her perfect fix fits her perfectly and it's so cute and so um when we were getting her dress she saw the dinosaur leggings so she wanted to wear that so I'm like okay so and you know she's in the house it don't matter if she's wearing long sleeves or short sleeve you know we're in the house so it ain't like we're out in a blistering hot and putting her in long sleeves or you know vice versa so she picked out those leggings and then I opened up her drawer to get the dinosaur shirt that goes with it. And she was like, no, I'm like, <laughs> okay, you want to wear this? And then she had like a plain pink t-shirt that matched the pink dinosaurs in the pants. And I was like, yeah, but this one, no. It's like, okay, which one you want to wear? So she picks out this shirt. It's just today's 18 months. It was a cat and Jack. And that was one I got on clearance and it was yellow and whatever if you saw her yesterday that's what and so i'm like all right <laughs> i ain't gonna argue with you that's what you want to wear that's what you want to wear go go for it so that's what she wore but anyway i need to get some work done <laughs> he's getting dressed i'm gonna take Tastes like apple cider. Hey, don't want to use that one. Right there. You're going to cut it down for that. Up here. In the ground. Yeah. Okay. Or right, I can use that. Now that one won't go in the ground. Why won't it? I don't think. Like you want it to stick up? No. Oh, no. Okay. Like this. Take it out. Okay. I'll dig the hole. Watch out for them nails over there, Jern. What you gonna, where you gonna put it? I'm gonna go get some more carrots. Mm. <laughs> guys it's after one o'clock and I just got done I just dropped a needle too so I think I see it yep oh thank goodness but anyway thanks for watching guys I'll see you tomorrow bye